You're watching Higher Things Video Shorts with me, Pastor Chris Hall. If you're looking for an easy way to support Higher Things, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any Higher Things content. You can follow Higher Things on social media and our website over at www.higherthings.org. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, we ask that you remember us in your donations and prayers. Welcome back, everybody. Last time we talked about confession. It's a gift. We confess our sins. We receive holy absolution. It's not like we can't be forgiven anywhere else, but the reality is this confession and absolution is given to us so that we know with even more certainty that what Christ purchased on the cross for us is definitely ours, and the pastor hammers it into your ears. So the next question is, well, what sin should I confess? Should I just go every, like have a standing appointment every Tuesday at 2.12 in the afternoon and go see my pastor and just come up with stuff to confess? Like, Oh, well, I didn't, uh, the light was kind of orange when I went through it, not really red. Or you know, when I told my mom I finished the plate of food, what I did was I, I snuck into the kitchen and just kind of emptied it into the trash and moved it around. It wasn't on the rim, it was fully down there, but you know. No, we, we don't just come up with things. The reality of confession and absolution, specifically that private confession and absolution, when you verbalize the sins, you vocalize them, you say them, is that... These are sins that weigh heavy on your heart. Those sins that you just can't get over. You, you've heard in the sermon that they're forgiven. You've been publicly absolved in the divine service. Uh, you've even talked to some other people about it. And they said, you know, we all go through this. It, it, you know, you're only human. But the devil doesn't buy that argument. You don't buy that argument. And you still have that guilt, that bad feeling in your stomach, and, and the sin keeps coming up all the time. So God gives you this blessed gift of private confession and absolution so you can go and you confess those things that weigh heavy on your heart, those sins that you just can't get rid of. And trust me, when you say it to your pastor, he, he's not going to tell anybody about it. There's this thing called the confessional seal, because when you confess it to him, you're actually confessing it to Jesus himself. So Jesus isn't going to tell anybody because remember it says that when Jesus takes our sins, he, they're remembered no more. The debt is canceled. You can't bring it back up. It's done with. And that's what happens. So even if you go up to your pastor the next day and say, hey, remember I confessed um, being addicted to pornography to you yesterday? He's going to go, I don't remember that. It's, it's, uh, if you did, it's forgiven. It's absolved. It's done with. But the problem is you may keep bearing it. So then you look at your life. Where are you at in life? Are you a, a father or a mother, a son or a daughter, a worker? Have you been lazy? Have you been angry? Have you been lustful? It's not a one-time thing being forgiven your sins, but it's Christ continually working on you. Because the devil's always trying to guilt you. The world's constantly reminding you of your failures. And the old Adam is always coming up to drag you back down. So Christ gives you this blessed gift to have as many times as you need it. Doesn't mean come up with sins. What it means is when you are struggling, know that this gift is there for you. So that you may rest assured that you are absolutely 100% unconditionally forgiven. So God bless y'all and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.